African wild dogs are formidable pack hunters, capable of killing adult leopards as well as cubs. The cats need to move fast. not his mother's favorite. Yet for both cubs, this has been a useful lesson. To stay alive, you must stay alert. Just a few hundred meters downstream is one of the uh, Salt Springs Lion Pride, the female with the collar. And it was only a day or so ago that the entire pride was just upstream of here on a buffalo kill. So these dogs really are caught between a rock and a hard place because lions are their arch enemy. For now though, they're oblivious to the danger. You can often judge an animal's success by how much the youngsters play. And these guys play a lot, all the time increasing their agility and building their speed. What they haven't noticed is that one of the lionesses from the Salt Springs Pride has arrived on the scene and hidden in a thicket. She's keeping a close eye on the pack. But the dog's huge ears allow acute hearing and the adult dog's attention is grabbed by an impala's alarm call. An antelope has spotted the lion. Straight away, one of the adults is on the case. The lioness presents a very real threat. She will kill a dog if she can catch one. One by one, the adults and the sub-adults try to distract her and draw her away from the pack. It gives the dog with the broken foot time to chaperone the puppies to safety. The lioness loses interest and leaves the spring. It really is quite fascinating to watch the alpha pair always together, always together. The male is constantly tailing behind her wherever she goes. Aladdin and Feather have only been together for four months, but they're already off to a flying start. Feather is visibly pregnant. But even though he's now done the job, she is pregnant with his pups, he doesn't leave her side for one minute. It's unusual for an alpha male to be so attentive at this stage. Aladdin seems to be a particularly devoted partner. Taryn has been monitoring Feather and Aladdin's progress from the start. So tell me a little bit about how Aladdin and Feather behave with each other as the alpha pair. We've often seen him with his chin resting on her rear end and just following her around. Um, he's been observed sleeping with his paw on her at night. It's typical, it's what we call mate guarding behavior. 
he's looking after her, he's making sure that she's, that she's fed and healthy. Once she's pregnant, he continues to follow her, even though he's already done his job and fathered her litter. And I think that's his way of ensuring that his litter of paps survives and, and is healthy. Aladdin and Feather look like a solid couple. And that's good news for everyone else in the group. Because as the alpha pair, it's their job to provide the pack with new pups. So is that it? Are they completely established and their roles are determined and everything's hunky-dory with the whole pack? Well, so far, so good. The, the key will be how successful they are at raising that litter of pups as a pack. Um, the success of a pack always depends on, on, the, on their reproductive su success, so how well they work together to successfully rear they're young. So they're not home free? Not at all, not it, at it, all. So whenever you get a new alpha pair, it doesn't mean anything until they've successfully reared their first litter. Their first litter. Oh gosh, no pressure. Fortunately, for Aladdin and Feather, the rest of the group will be there to lend a helping hand. The other adult females are Feather's sisters, and the males come from different packs. Yeah, come the rest behind us. It's one big happy family where everyone pitches in. Feather's older sister, Batty, is the lead hunter. By sharing the workload, the pack runs like a well-oiled machine. He's gone in, he's gone in, and he's... The other still got on top of the ground. Oh. Well, most of the time. So you've got wildebeest chasing the wild dogs. What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> when Aladdin and Feather's pups are born, everyone will help to feed and protect them. 